Hello, my name is Rupert Hujev. I'm the Chairman and Chief Researcher of the Huron Report. Now this is a list of the top 50 biggest philanthropists of the last 100 years. And I suppose it's really designed to make people reflect on giving. Because wealth at the moment is being created at an ever faster rate to ever bigger numbers. I mean, the number of individuals at the moment that have got more than 100 billion US dollars, this is something that, uh, that it seems to be growing ever faster. And this is something that was perhaps inconceivable just even a few years ago. Well, on this list, we find the vast majority came from the US and 39 out of the top 50 are from the US. In fact, they only come from five or six countries, which probably reflects a little bit about wealth creation in the last century as well. The you know, dominant um, partner uh, or country has been the US in this case. When we look at the individuals that actually made this list, some of the names are really quite surprising. A lot of people perhaps think of um, giving and would think about Bill and Melinda Gates as being some of the um, most prolific givers in the world. But when we look at the individual number, it's actually an Indian, um, Mr. Tata, the founder of Tata Group, who over 100 years ago set up a, a charitable trust and put 60, 70% of the companies of um, Tata's um, shares into the trust. And today it's got a valuation probably at 102 billion US dollars, making him the biggest philanthropist of the last uh, 100 years. Uh, number two, as I said, was Bill Gates and Melinda Gates. And then number three, we go through to a British guy called um, Henry Welcome who set up a pharmaceutical company and again, uh, just after the Second World War, cashed it out and set up the Wellcome Trust today. And then we've got the names of uh, like Howard Hughes, Warren Buffett, George Soros, and, and, and so on and so forth. So the idea behind this list, just to reiterate, is to draw inspiration, if you like, from some of these entrepreneurs who built huge businesses and then gone on to do huge philanthropy. And, and I guess we're gonna see philanthropy growing faster and faster, bigger and bigger. At the moment, philanthropy is certainly not keeping up with wealth creation, but give it a bit of time, I'm sure it will catch up. So I look forward to getting your feedback and thank you so much for your attention. Bye-bye. Hello, we are very excited to bring to you the ADK Horon India Philanthropy List 2021. This report contains a comprehensive list of the largest philanthropists from India and across the world and has been compiled after conducting extensive research on the historical and contemporary data with respect to philanthropy and giving. The idea behind this report is not only to recognize and acknowledge these philanthropic catalysts from across different sectors, but also to develop a better understanding of our ecosystem as a whole. So watch this space for more. One of the hottest topics of discussion in social media these days in the context of billionaires is with regards to whether philanthropy is catching up to super wealth creation. In that process, very often we miss out on some of the legends who have actually contributed a lot towards philanthropy and some of them who have given away all their wealth towards the betterment of the society and also for their respective nation building. 2021 Edelgave Horan Philanthropist of the Century is an attempt to understand and speak about some of the top philanthropists uh, who've lived over the last 100 years. This list is in fact very special to me because as an Indian, I'm, I'm very proud about this list because Mr. Jemsundi Tata, the founder of Tata Group, is the number one on the list. The other Indian uh, who's featured on the list is a living legend and philanthropist Mr. Azim Premji, who's the founder of Impro. The list has so many interesting data points. I would love to hear your feedback and uh, know your comments. And on a concluding note, I really hope this list inspires a lot of other entrepreneurs who are super wealth creators in terms of understanding how their ancestors have dealt with wealth and how the ancestors have given away their wealth in, ter uh, in terms of uh, uh, nation building. Thank you.